there. Guys, welcome back to another episode on the channel. I am Matt, and thank you very much for watching. Today we're going to be venturing into a very well-known, highly grossing video game from the Nintendo GameCube. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed Animal Crossing, I'm sorry, but you lose this round. It is, as a matter of fact, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now, I can't tell you how many hours, days, weeks, months that I spent on this game. It's just an incredible piece of uh, history now for games. The mechanics that were on this, the fighting styles, the tight controls, it, uh, it just really didn't have a rival. I lost a couple friendships over this game, and then later they were okay, but then probably done again because they got smashed. No pun intended. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a really nice uh, reminder of what used to be the good old days, as they say. I can't believe I'm 31 now, and I think I was playing this, when did this come out? 2001? That's insane, man. Anyway, uh, for the video, I figured we would take a deep dive into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and roll a clip and voiceover as I show the contents of the game, the case, the manual. So if anybody wants to see that, just stick around. As for anybody else, I will try to leave a timestamp on the video if you just wanna see the gameplay. So, like and subscribe for more content. I always appreciate the views. And let's go ahead and get started. The Wikipedia page for Super Smash Bros. Melee says that it was a 2.5D fighting game for the Nintendo GameCube. It was released on November 21st, 2001 in Japan and December 3rd, 2001 in North America, shortly after GameCube's launch and then on the following year in Europe and Australia on May 24th, 2002 and May 31st, 2002. It is the second game in the Super Smash Bros. series following its predecessor, Super Smash Bros., and was succeeded by Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Super Smash Bros. 4, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like Super Smash Bros., Melee features gameplay unique from that of other fighting games. Compared to characters in other fighting games, Melee characters have simple movesets and lack complicated button inputs and lengthy natural combos. Instead, Melee emphasizes movement and ringouts. Indeed, edgeguarding in Melee takes on much more significance than it does in most other games due to copious midair jumps and other methods of reaching the edge unfettered. The game has sold 7.9 million units as of 2008, making it the best-selling GameCube game of all time. Melee is also one of the two games in the Super Smash Bros. series to be rated T by the ESRB, with the other being its sequel, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Melee received universal acclaim, with many critics praising the game's expansion and refinement from its N64 predecessor, as well as its visuals, tight controls, multiplayer mode, and orchestrated soundtrack, although its single-player modes, lack of originality, and similarity to its predecessor received criticism. Uh, as for the fighters, it says that we have the cast of 25 playable characters, 26 if including Zelda's alter ego Sheik, includes all 12 characters from the original and 13 newcomers. Of these, 14 are available from the start of play, including all the veteran characters except Jigglypuff and Luigi, and 11 more which can be unlocked. Of the new characters, the greatest number are the Legend of Zelda universe. If Zelda Sheik are counted as two characters to go with Ganondorf and Young Link, although the Mario series also takes three character slots for Bowser, Princess Peach, and Dr. Mario. On top of these, two universes add two characters each, from the Fire Emblem series making its Smash Bros. debut with Marth and Roy, and the Pokemon universe adding Pichu and Mewtwo to its two existing characters. The three other characters added are Falco, a second character from the Star Fox series, Mr. Game & Watch, and the Ice Climbers from two highly venerable Nintendo series. And now, let us get to some gameplay. And for this video, I will be using the Super Pad GameCube controller. It's obviously not authentic, but it does the job. It's got a tight stick. I would definitely prefer an indigo one to match the console, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta hear the other one. <laughs> It's so awesome that they implemented that. Oh, well, it would make sense if I put the disc in, huh? Crazy. There you are. Apparently, this controller has a rumble function. I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. 
intro is so sick. Dude, what a good song, bro. I mean, tell me that's not the greatest ever. That announcer was getting it, man. All right, guys, let us try to turn down the volume just a little bit. How's that? So as for the solo smash, you got regular match, event match, stadium, and training. Regular match, you got classic or adventure. This one, they got the various stages. Classic is obviously classic. You guys are getting smashed. Oh, get out of here, Jigglypuff! Get out of here! Let's go, Fox! We should team up more often. That was awesome. L, R, A, and start. What? That's crazy. Alright, we got event match. So these ones, they'll give you like certain challenges. Bombs are everywhere in this explosive battle. DK, baby. Ah, bombs are everywhere, including Samus. Electro. Oh no no, get out of there, get out of there. That's pretty cool though that they put that in there. Oh, and they used Link and Samus because they had bombs on them. That's crazy. Please die. Oh, he's out of there. See ya. You got the motion sensor bomb trophy, nice. Oh, I forgot they had trophies in here. They look really good too, you can rotate them and stuff. Stadium minigame, target test online, training, yeah, versus mode, regular melee, tournament melee, special melee, custom rules and name entry. Special melee. Take snapshots with a special smash cam. Players fight until HP is reached zero. Super sudden death. All players start with 300 damage. Giant melee. Oh man. Of course. Two nesses. We're gonna put you guys at three, okay? I don't feel like getting assassinated. Let's do a uh, giant Yoshi. 
this is awesome. Uh oh. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Are you kidding? There's no way that that's real, bro. Dude, I did the down B move and I'm literally stuck here. Like, are you joking? There we go. That was crazy. At least I caught it on camera. I think they might have taken the uh, invisibility out of uh, Smash Ultimate. Get off of me! I have 231. Oh, we all might go to uh, sudden death. See you later, bud. If I die again, though, Ness has it. But if I get rid of Ness... Can you do the fire, please? Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I won! Let's go! Get out of here, dude! You don't want no problems with me! So, that's a special melee. And you got your trophies, of course. You flip through them at your leisure. There's 87 of them, which is pretty cool. Bulbasaur. Pikachu! You guys like Pokemon? I do. Wow. Those are the only ones I have left. That's crazy, man. Alright, well, let's play one more match. For the end of the video. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> Just up me the whole time. Oh, we can drop them and leave them. Okay. They have different attributes in the new ones. So yeah. Get that out of your mind. I can't throw the... I thought you could throw the items. Give me a couple days, I'll be back to how I used to do. I promise. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on! Get him out of here! Lord. I gotta get rid of Ness, man. I, I need this other point. Yes, Venusaur, let's go, baby. He's at 139, brother. One more. Come on. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Come here, Fox. 
We did 148. No, I need it. <laughs> That's it. It's in the back. Awesome, man. All right, guys. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Um, I'm always trying to put out new videos. Uh, coming up with some more ideas. I just figured for right now I'd start going through my game library and uh, see if you guys appreciate the old stuff like I do. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate it, guys.